Hello everybody and welcome back for another episode of Magic 2014. I am Nick and I am here with Alpaca Patrol and Bear Taffy, my usual friends. How's it going, guys? So freaking great now that the video recording has finally begun. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> this is the third time we started this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's happen, just the man. third, be... first time we, we started this recording. Mm, first there you time. go. That's now you idea. just gotta hope you don't get the sliver deck and we'll be happy. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, if you get the sliver deck, we're going to have to restart again. That'll be great. It really has been three out of the last four times we've played. I've random sliver, and it's absolutely <laughs> oh, ridiculous. ridiculous. Let's buck the trend. Let's uh, start up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I'm praying. I'm, I'm hoping and praying. I got both fingers crossed, which is turning into a double negative. Hey, no sliver. Nice. Oh, 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 really? <laughs> Can I <laughs> tell you, you? Did you get it? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, it actually man. isn't that. Okay. But, but can I tell you what's in this hand? Okay, Tell me. so I got uh, land, 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 mm -hmm. land, mm -hmm. land, <laughs> land, royal elemental. <laughs> That's a pretty good hand. You should take it. Yeah, yeah man, I, I'd roll with that. Uh, fuck it. Hey. You're going to have so much land, you'll be the happiest man. That's mm -hmm. true. Hey, that's me. Yeah, it's a bear. It's that's a, me if I were a ghost. You well, that's you. Two, two out, turn one. Day. I'm gonna find a uh, I'm gonna find an OBS plugin that allows you to manipulate your face cam so you can make yourself look all ethereal. You can put you yourself know, on a cloud. I know that much. How did you guys yeah. do that that thing? Because I've seen people do that specific Don't one. Kept me started for on that. Years, <laughs> and I want to do it so bad. It's literally been years now. Yeah, I know. That I've seen that, like the thing where you could be the the raptor yeah, and the I, I stuff. Know. It's called it's, Dell it's, Webcam Central. It's apparently uh, a free download. I actually went and got it myself, but it just doesn't support my webcam, even though it's supposed to. Uh, uh, I have a Logitech webcam, and there's no reason that it shouldn't work, but it just doesn't. It just won't see it. Ah, uh, that's butt. That's silly. Yeah, no clouds for me. Is it so? But can you put in any picture you want and then set there's, up the calibration yourself? There's like an editor. I don't know how to use it because I can't make the thing run. But yeah, apparently you can because they made Fred Durst and Hulk Hogan. So. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm curious uh, enough to see whether or not I'm gonna have to return this guy, to play it. I think you're gonna say your webcam. Whether or not you have to return your webcam to get him oh, yeah. so you can do face <laughs> cam yeah. mask. You are gonna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just. I just wanted that's, to find out. That's what I was hoping you were going for. All right, yeah. yeah well, now you guys know I have the of the the pride mate lion or the white mane lion. Or that's, right. that's a giveaway. Pride mate lion. Man I, would, lion. I would see that card. That'd be really interesting. Mm -hmm. It's like a monkey lion, lion monkey. No, it's a lion pride, pride mate, mate of the pride. Yeah. Northern lion knows all about that. That's true. He knows a little bit about it. He also knows about bad kitties. Yeah, he does. About that that are bad, yeah. Dude knows a lot. Dude knows a lot about a lot. A dude looks like a lady. Let's yeah. Also that. Yeah. Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. I don't think he us. does. I really don't think he does. If I'm being. <laughs> Are we talking about people. Steven Tyler or Northern Lion? I don't know. Yeah, both, both of them. I really, think yeah. if you were to hybrid combine Steven Tyler with Northern oh, Lion, oh goodness you get gracious, Northern there would be Tyler. no change. That's true, actually. They're yeah, so they're, they're similar. Steven Lion or Northern Tyler? I don't know which I one can't I like decide. better. I can Yeah, that's a tough call right there. <laughs> Steven <laughs> Lion sounds really good to me. Dude looked like a lion. <laughs> oh, man. That's mm -hmm. crazy, actually, if he looked like a lion. True that. Love in an elevator. Line it up while you're going down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Can we just make the rest oh, of this yeah. magic episode just a bunch of puns? Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, if we're trying to duplicate the NLSS over here, I think that's mm. pretty much what we're going for, right? Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Just Bring in Creed every now and then. I'll take care of the limp biscuits. Mm -hmm. Is what I usually do. I heard the Alter Bridge throwback a little bit in there. Yeah, that was yeah. uh that that rescinded all of the remaining memories I had of my early '90s rock experience. Actually, that was probably early 2000s back then. There was a new uh, one, right? In Alter Bridge. <laughs> I think there ought to be if there's not. I really hope that there was a new one. Right, right above the L, actually. No, you can't. It's got to be over a vowel. No, you, um, you can put it on over now. Really? <laughs> Just turn, it turns yeah. it into an, like an owl. Real man. It's like an, an owl. It's bridge. like an eye with a deformity. It's like an extra dot on the eye. You can't do that. Or it would be. But it would be I three mean, eyes in like, you can, you like put anywhere. in predator form. It would be like That'd the be predator targeting actually. reticle. Yeah, you can milk anything with umlauts. <laughs> what about if Greg? I had a nickel. Mm -hmm. Can you milk Greg's umlaut? Greg, I, I, I would. I'd do it. 
I want to think of an umlaut as a as a small, like sub-Saharan creature. Mm -hmm. That that's that that scurries around and is adorable. You're so more than fuzzy. welcome to do that. Mm hmm. What did you do? Oh, I get it. This is a really strange deck. I kind of like it though. Mm, you emancipated that other person with your angel. I, I did. That that should be the name of that ability. Mm hmm. It's kind of like firing the lesser members of my army. <laughs> Do you guys virtue. know that there was a... And you're speaking, you're speaking of umlaut, so this kind of jumped into my head. There was a oh, letter yeah, sure. in, in German called the S-set, which was basically just two S's next to each other. And uh, mm. around when they introduced the Euro to Germany, I think they just eliminated it completely. Wow. By just replacing it with two S's. So it just makes me wonder, like, why did we need to do the whole other letter in the first place? Is it really that hard? That to makes do? me think. What would it be like if all of a sudden in the modern day and age we were to eliminate a letter from the alphabet? Yeah, that's what I was. From the thinking. English alphabet of the twenty-six. It's terrifying. Like it's just like, oh well, it looks like Z is no longer a fucking thing anymore. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Too bad. Use X now. That would be. It's like the exact quote from the Barack Obama press conference. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. We've well, decided. Me, man. Look, I don't know about it. <laughs> There's a lot of problems with Russia invading Ukraine and Justin Bieber <laughs> going to jail. But uh, we, you know what? We're just going to get rid of Z. I think that's probably <laughs> the most pressing thing. Fuck Z. <laughs> what is this? Fox <laughs> News right now? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'll, I'll be honest. There are a few Z letters that kind of have it coming. I oh, yeah. They really do, yeah. Like K. K is used so infrequently in the English language. Yeah, it's just a C sound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they just, you, K like, can be so easy to replace by Q and C. Like, it, it really could be eliminated. They totally could, yeah. K K is pretty useless because, like, that's the thing is like K. Think about all the letters, all the words with K's in them. It's like when they put it after a C, and it's like, yeah, hey, remember that we're a letter two. We also <laughs> make the sound. <laughs> like it's not important that we're here, but you know, just letting you know that we also make this sound. Um, the only word that I find I'd really struggle to say would be okay, but. You can always just replace oh, that with, yeah. all right, all right, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I can't say okay. Let's let's go through the entire magic episode without using the letter <laughs> K from this point forward. I was really hoping we were gonna go through the rest of the thing saying all right because that's kind of how that works. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> that's that's what I was thinking you were gonna go for. Mm -hmm. I was gonna go as long as you were gonna go, and unfortunately, <laughs> let me down way earlier than I expected. Yeah, God damn it! Yeah. You can't just bring that back because then everybody knows already. A good point, yeah. Cultivate in yeah. the dragon deck, really. Yeah, that know, deck is actually filled with those cards. I have no <laughs> idea what I'm doing. Interesting. It doesn't even have that many cards that are like high mana cost either. You got a bunch yeah. of goblins, man. Oh, I just got like all of those at the same time. I don't think you're supposed to get three of that same card. <laughs> no, probably not. Yeah. Who is this guy? Ooh, I like I'll, that. I'll needle you to death. Don't go after yep, me. Oh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of worried about it. Gain four life. I like to gain four life. Nice. It's a, it's a passion of mine. It's a hobby. Mm, gaining four life. Mm-hmm. It's intriguing. Right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, gain four life oh. on top of the four wow. life I gained. That is wow. one bulky fucking lion. <laughs> yeah. Look at his shoulders and, my God, his flanks are jacked. Hey, that a is the Dwayne line. Johnson of Lions. I don't even yeah. think he has elbows. Is he coming through a portal or, like, just diving into a tornado? He's that's coming out of the gym, cool. man. That dude's jacked. <laughs> <laughs> that's a crazy-looking gym. What, you don't yeah, work dude, out in like, the he's, portal he's from like, hell? <laughs> the portal to, that's the portal to Gold's gym. You can only enter the, like, the... They have, like, the elite set in the back where all the white main lions go to train. <laughs> no, it's, it's, the, it's the cursed whirlpool in the beginning of Dark Souls 2. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Speaking uh, of that, I that came out the day that we are uh, doing this episode, so all three of us have been streaming it all afternoon. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's Trying to steal each other's audiences. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. worked. I'll tell you that, it worked. Yeah. None of us had any audience. Talking about the top five cards, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's kind of dumb. 
Yeah. I, I don't really know, want like, you to cast anything. So it's you all right. can't. Ne neither of your fucking decks have instants in them. I just thought that, like, like maybe bears did, and mm. so it didn't. So, you know, fuck me, I guess, basically. I'd like that Captain of the Watch that you discarded for me. That, that kind of sucks. Rob, you don't yeah. know that I don't have instants. I might have edited this deck. Mm, that's a good point, yeah. I didn't write. Really I feel as though all. Nick has just been playing offline a lot against the CPU, trying to unlock. <laughs> yeah, that's control. really likely I... that that happened. <laughs> <laughs> With all that downtime you have, right? Mm. Oh man, so much. I just been basically. I just I clip my fingernails. I clip my toenails. I buff my nails. I drink some water. I go for a walk. This is a lot of nails activities. It's like that, <laughs> yeah. I imagine you're just like looking around your room looking for things that you would waste your time on, yeah, but you can't ask your nails. It's, it's like I'm just thinking of like what do people do when they're fancy and they like sit in a mansion all day? They just get like manicures and pedicures for some reason. Um, they get like manicures after the manicures to manicure yeah. the manicures. I just forgot to oh. like eat stuff. That's right. Yeah, I was gonna oh, say you no. didn't devour, you had like eight <laughs> goblins. Yeah. That would have been a really powerful creature. Alright, well, uh, this is the point where you write your angry comments. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> also, what letter would you remove from the alphabet? <laughs> yeah. Alphabet hashtag fuck Z. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I should though. I should make a straw poll. Like, here's every letter vote. <laughs> you know what? I want you to do that. I'm going to be really disappointed if I don't see that straw poll up after we're done uh, recording we, this thing we here. Could, we could remove Y. Why is, why is why? one of those vowels? Because like, well, it's like ah. A E I O U and sometimes Y. No, why sometimes Y? No. Fuck Y. Like, <laughs> who's I? Like, what do you need Y for? That's fucking stupid. Like, part of like, your argument's dead on, the other part I'm not behind. I, I, the argument is why sometimes Y? Can we just pick one side or the other? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'm fair with that too as well. Um, Targon skips for his next combat. Okay, yeah, I was real in danger of. Yeah, suck it, Rob. <laughs> also, yeah. I just want to point out that Rob has used a total of 28 Ks thus far since we made the declaration. Wow. Um, Use that letter. Do you have one of those hand clickers? Like, how are you yeah, able dude. to keep track? That's really good. Yeah, it's a unique talent I have, actually. I haven't been able to showcase it up until just now. I, I finally you know, have the opportunity. Hate counting Savant. I really yeah. fucking hate fucking hand clicker people because they suck at their job what? and i i, sp I speak oh, yeah. from experience this is a thing you have an opinion on no, oh yeah does. and i know why <laughs> yeah when i was at pax east uh there Wowzer. was this there, there were the, okay so me and dennis and some other people uh I think it was just Austin, actually. <laughs> uh, Some other people, just Austin. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> that's just our name for Austin. <laughs> Some, Some other, other people. people. Hey, I'm Nick. We're back with Rob and Barry Taffy and some other people. Like some magic 2014. <laughs> That'd be so dickish. Yeah. There's a chance he might even see this, considering he's usually on these things. Yeah, that's true. But anyway, so uh, so me, me, Dennis, and Austin are waiting online to go to the what what inevitably was the Civilization Beyond Earth uh, press conference, essentially. Um, so it was the you know w where they were announcing the game. Um, at PAX East and you know there so we're, we're on the line we're on, there's a line outside and then they bring they're bringing us into the waiting room or whatever okay uh, so the guy's like hey you gotta go down the fucking hall there's a way room blah 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 it's like okay fine I'll go to the waiting room wow there's a man outside the waiting room John and he's got Stewart a little hand clicker New York and he's he's you know he's he's walking there are people in he's like you know he's like clicking in all the all the people and whatnot you know what? This fucking guy, he probably wasn't even, he probably was just clicking it over and over again. Like, I don't think he was counting shit because we I get in there. I wouldn't, would there. you? Why do you well, care? Yeah, I mean, I guess not. Well, because here's what happened. Get into it. We, we go we go into the waiting room and it's like, oh, okay, so cool. We're in the waiting room. And, and they, they, they close off the waiting room eventually. Bear couldn't get in, actually, because there were too many people in the waiting room. So it was like, oh, okay, so we're getting the waiting room. Okay, I'm sure we're going to go into the press conference or whatever. Um, we... So we're in there. They open up the press doors or whatever so that people could get in and, and you know, doors. sit down or whatever the fuck. You know, they open the doors. And and we go into the, into the conference Jack room. Lion. Yeah, it's another one. And then we so we go we're going into that and um and they cut us off literally halfway. And they're like, Oh, sorry, there's actually not enough room. And like there are people like standing in the back in the room and it's like there are like three hundred people behind me. This guy, this hand clicker man, did a terrible job. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Um. Wait, Bear. What is what is this thing that you're doing to me? I uh, I tapped your four four, and I'm attacking you with the three three flyer. Um. I like the idea of press doors. Yeah, me too. It's like only news reporters get through through this door. Yeah. Prove yourself worthy. It's, I've, I've got I've got a Dark Souls two mode in my head now. It's like you have to complete the quest necessary to achieve press status. <laughs> no, you got to join the press covenant. That's what it is. They make you kill your firstborn child to be able to report for CNN. I'm thinking of like that pyramid from what is it, the Never Ending Story or something that just like turns you into dust if you're not. Oh right. yeah. It just fucks mm -hmm. your day. Yep. Well, I, I think if you turn into dust, it may fuck more than your just your day. <laughs> mm. like, well, that'd be at least the entire weekend for me. It's the day and also a lot of other things, but it's the first thing you think of is the day. Mm -hmm. uh, Probably the rest of your life, which was you know. Right, that's second after the right, day. Right. That was, that was, this probably comes like before you just died from turning to dust. So today's the greatest day I've ever known. Really? Mm -hmm. Can't live for tomorrow. I hope uh, this is an Alter Bridge lyric. Uh, Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, okay, same mm. thing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> same band. Pumpkins. I basically just streamed with Billy Corgan earlier today, so it's no big deal. Really? You wow. guys know the names of the singers in these like horrible '90s like? Do they don't know to? who Billy Billy Corgan is, man. <laughs> well, now I do, evidently, but uh, I didn't. I didn't know like any. I know. Uh, I know Lance Bass. He's mm -hmm. cool. You know Joey Fat One. I do know Joey Fat One. That, That's easy to that remember. That was like the most unfortunate name for that. Name. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, if I oh, were man, him, he could be I like Joey Butts a lot or something. I <laughs> love that he can swing it in either direction too. Because if he's not being the fat one, he could also be Fatone, which is like I'm a singer. I've got tones, but I'm like, actually Fatone also the fat one. Fatone makes it sound like fat he's toned, toned. You know, like he's got a yeah. good thing going. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. It's it's just this is very strange to me because he did end up being the fat one. See, I would have just like if I were him, I would just be like, you know what, fuck food. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be anorexic because I am not gonna get that nickname to be real. And I'll be it the was, jacked it's one. Real. It's super real for him. Yeah. Yeah. And poor man. Do you think if he changed his name to the jacked one, people would stop seeing him as fat? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Like, yes, no. Joey jacked. Joey. Fucking ripped, like his middle no, no, name. No, no. Joey ripped. Just walks around. No, and... jo Joey, uh, Joey cultivating mass one. <laughs> cultivating <laughs> mass one. Yeah, that's, that's all it is. So you're just like, oh, okay, he's just cultivating mass so that he could yeah. later, you know, use it to become very like ripped. A damn magic card, man. <laughs> Cultivate mass. Cultivate. Amazes me that that's actually a thing. Cultivating like, mass. You build a bunch of nothing on your body and then muscle you use milk. that extra stuff yeah i guess mm. you can milk anything oh, yeah. with muscles <laughs> oh man oh, that's gross to think about um i was gonna i was gonna say oh god that means you can like milk a clam or something <laughs> you can milk a muscle because you can milk yes. anything with muscles you could yeah milk a, milk a scallop duplicant it's a cool name yeah, it's more uh, like duplicant yeah, it's actually Ew. not that great, I don't think. <laughs> Wait, why did you exile yeah, your own card? Well, I mean, it was going to be tapped forever anyway. Why is it so green and well. purple now? It actually was only I'm very good. confused by it, honestly. Or blue and purple? Why? <laughs> you, that that card was only going to be tapped for that turn. It would have been untapped the turn after. <laughs> What? No, I thought it was. Don't, oh, it doesn't. No. doesn't uh, yeah, when it is no, yeah, it says it doesn't untap during its controller's and tap step. That's a. That's oh, a permanent controller. Uh, okay, I, I thought it was a next untap step. Okay, uh, no. fair enough. Fair enough. I don't but think he has flying, though. That's pretty much why I wanted to do that. Mm. Power toughness. Oh, power toughness and creature types. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't, doesn't get yeah. the exact. Anyway, we're, it, but, we're talking about oh. milk, and, milk and muscle bound. Yeah, that's more important. Yeah, yeah it's milk and, milk and dudes. Yeah, you know, that's fun. I was milking this dude the other day. You know, apparently you can live if 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 humans wanted to, we could live on breast milk for the rest of our lives and have only that. Do we I'm not want surprised. that? I do. I mean, I don't. I, I've never actually tried breast milk. Yeah, me so. either. I'm not yeah. really interested in it. You yeah, haven't I tried mean, it, or you don't remember having. No, tried no, no. It. That and as I, that's what I was about to clarify is like I also that I also I I never actually tried it physically myself like that's it's never actually happened i was mm. on uh formula or whatever so formula one so you're like <laughs> yeah. a high octane yeah, yeah, baby it, 
I mean, yeah, like, they got to get him into the real world real quick, man. That's that, the best way to do it. So surprisingly, that's how you counteract shaken baby syndrome is you just put him in an F1 racer <laughs> and then he, he just he gets the shakes right out of him. No more shake. Yeah. Oh, it like diffuses so. the vibrations out into the mm. world. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's so like a centrifuge for babies or something. Pretty much. Yeah. Like yeah. an iron yeah. lung or something. I don't know. What mm. I'm talking so about. Is they mix up all the baby juices inside of the baby. I don't know if we want to spark the Draco the fetus animation of the iron lung for babies right now. We don't. That's basically all I want to do, to be honest. <laughs> After Draco the fetus is a longtime viewer of this uh, magic series. <laughs> great, great land. I just assume everybody watches this thing, man. Like, I know Billy Corgan's going to be uh, sending us some angry tweets tomorrow. That's all right. I can handle him. That'd be yeah. so funny. You know what's funny? Like, I forgot, um, uh, you know, uh, Fucking game design Dan, he tweeted me the other day, he the creator of 10 Second Ninja, created tweeted me the other day about something funny that I said in my Europa Universalis series. And it was like, I, I forget that, like, some people, people watch stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, like, people watch what I do. <laughs> I just gotta fuck around on camera, but, like, people watch this shit. I don't know, man. It's weird. It gets Sometimes super real I forget on people watch the. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you have like Notch watching you, Bear. So you're on yeah, Notch Watch, that's, man. That's yeah, <laughs> Notch Watch 2014. <laughs> uh, that'd be good, but yeah, yeah. Also, uh, I've been I've been kind of getting a boner for the Oculus Rift a little bit since I used it to play oh, that man, game. Yeah, yeah and that's why I will awesome. never put on your Oculus Rift. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> that's uh, I will definitely use it for sexy times, but um. The as uh, we return to running control to its own hands. Okay, that's cool. Um. Anyway, so I was seeing there. There apparently, Minecraft supports Oculus Rift. Mm -hmm. which... uh, no, they stopped supporting it when Facebook became a thing. No. Oh really? So it doesn't actually. You can't use. Bowed out. There's, there's Stop. Like a working. Oh. In the name of love, what are you doing <laughs> to me right now? <laughs> He's fucking... I You're want to keep the it? conversation going. You're copying that. What? Yeah, it's going to be exiled. No. Yeah. No. Uh -oh. no. Oh, oh, oh. What? Oh, God. What? <laughs> what are we doing? What's happening? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Fuck your life. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get out of oh, here. God, I don't even understand the process. You that lose. was like a Mexican standoff, and we all shot each other. Wow. <laughs> I don't need it as a part, dogs. Oh, God. I watched that movie now. recently. I actually understand that reference. That makes yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a great film. I really love Reservoir Dogs. That, that was a really good movie. I was happy I saw it. Back well, to back, the two deaf brothers freaking man, face no. to face I, I shot actually, each other. Uh, yeah. I was thinking about this actually earlier. Spoiler. For some reason, I was thinking about Reservoir Dogs, and uh, I was thinking that it's probably my favorite. Uh, Quentin Tarantino movie. However, it's also like definitely not the best one. But it, it's one of those things that that you have to. I think you have to make that distinction uh, with a lot of things, a lot of art in general, like movies, music, whatever. There's a difference between something that you really like and something that's really good. You know, that that that's, just pretty much applies to anything you have an opinion on, though. Really? Yeah. True. Yeah. That's 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 a good point. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I just thought art in general, anything, you know, but yeah, it really does. It's true, there, there's just, there's just always, there's a difference between something that is objectively good and something that you subjectively like. Mm. Really. And I, I, I think, again, Reservoir Dogs, I think, is probably my favorite Quentin Tarantino movie. But the existence of, of objectivity is questionable, in my opinion. Hmm. You mean in, I, as in relation to art? And yeah, in, in relation to something you can enjoy, I, I feel as though it's impossible to label something as objectively good in the sense that the the ability to call something worthy of your time is entirely a personal choice, regardless of whether or not someone has decreed it to be like necessary to your cultural expansion of yourself. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I, I understand where you're coming from. However, like to take it even to just video game terms, 
there is an objective difference between Superman 64 and, uh, you know, Ocarina of Time. You know Whoa, what, I mean? what? Oh, Jun Charm. Yeah, Shit. Charm. Charm Yuns. Yeah. No, I know what you mean too about that. So. Yeah. Man, See, I wish I caught the beginning of that conversation. Sorry, I was deep in thought. <laughs> no, yeah, oh, well. you were making a very important decision, and it worked pretty damn well for you, so kudos. Uh, yeah. and it could have been better. I thought it was going to be one damage, not two, or it would have eaten we... the other two enemies, too, or my other two allies. Oh, yeah. Well, I, mm -hmm. I want to eat all of those, too. <laughs> yeah, they're on uh, your side. So, essentially, we were, we were uh, analyzing the philosophical idea behind objectivity. And when mm -hmm. There is no objectivity. Exists. That was my argument, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, what, he's, that's what he's saying. But, but I will say that, like, I think... That the the reason that I would refute that hypothesis is because I think there is an objective difference between Superman sixty four and like Ocarina of Time or you know another you know fantastic game that has come well, out. It depends if you're talking philosophically or scientifically, because the only way that you come up with objectivism is on things that we've actually manually assigned, like people's names. You are objectively named Rob, a hundred percent chance every time because we decided that. There's no chance for any kind of deviation there. Mm, well, even to... are you going to argue your name's not Rob? Don't do no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> but what I'm arguing, you're, you're saying that, like, objectivity can only exist in a scenario in which subjectivity cannot be applied, whereas I think that's not necessarily the case. So, like, I, I can subjectively fucking love Superman 64, but I'm wrong. It's not a good game. You know you're what I mean? Wrong. Like, th you there's... have that opinion. Like, that's... Yeah, that's... Yeah. Or you, I can love it, and I can say it's the best game ever. But you're making a category um, error. You can't compare the two. Well, I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I, I, if if objectivity is only allowed in a scenario in which subjectivity is actually impossible, then, then yeah, then objectivity well, doesn't exist. But I don't think that that's true. Honestly, I think our arguments are mutually exclusive. Yeah, I, I think I think we just fundamentally disagree, really. So it's not something that we would really see eye to eye on, really. So it's. It's just sort of, yeah. I, I, I don't think Bear. By the way, you're on pain phase two. Oh, sorry, crap. No, that's oh, good. Yeah, I haven't uh, an E before too. No problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I but, was totally uh, waiting on you to do something wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think objectivity can be applied to situations in which subjectivity can also be applied. I do think that. I look at well, just in the gaming space again. I look at that objective game reviews site, which I'm still like seventy five, twenty five percent. Right? satire yeah i can't yeah. decide but i'm like almost positive it is but you look at something like that and it's clearly impossible i i think the idea behind it and i'm still unsure about this but i think the idea behind it is to convey the fact that it's completely impossible to keep opinion out of a gaming review site which is what all of the commenters you see everywhere are hoping for is like wow why don't you keep your own personal bias out of it and just give us the facts about the review and i mean they do a decent job of in in the form of satire that they're presenting it in just straight up telling you exactly what's going on in the game but in order to provide any kind of you know like fluctuation they have to instill a personal bias regardless of whether they right. want to or not so it's mm -hmm. really just a matter of whether or not the uh, sense of objectivity is applicable to your chosen medium that we're talking about so, and i yeah. i think in the in the majority of cases regarding cultural things it's impossible i mean I, I think that there is an inherent hypocrisy to trying to judge art like objectively uh yet i still contend that it's possible like i still contend that there is a an objective difference between something that is poorly made and something that is well made all right, uh, so let's do uh, fucking metaphors then. So Pablo Picasso mm -hmm. paints a fucking cubist painting. Mm -hmm. Dude's face is all scattered over all over the place. Somebody has the most naturalistic possible painting ever. Clearly takes masterful skill. Uh, mm -hmm. The Picasso painting takes masterful skill too, but you don't know how to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, objectivity is really cloudy, isn't it? Mm, no, not really, because that's that's someone taking taking so, like. We're talking you about your criterion to... of how you're you're registering it, though. Well, you're the not... whole idea of of objectivity is that it, it's not it's it, it's not succumbed to the whims of uh, a lack of knowledge. It's supposed to be applied across a whole thing. So, for, for in order for that, who has perfect sense, knowledge? Well, no one. No, no one does. And again, that's why I say objectivity an doesn't hypocrisy. exist. 
Well, that's why I say there's an inherent hypocrisy because, of course, subjectivity comes in in some form or fashion while trying to be objective about some sort of artwork. However, um, the idea is that there is a series of um, uh, bases on which to judge a piece of work. And if that it, it, if it requires a tremendous amount of skill in both categories, then it's good. I mean, essentially. Right. And, and largely, I, I think... Okay, so like me, I'm a huge fan of film. I've 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 watched I like I've run out of movies to watch because I've watched so many movies. That's I'm not kidding with you that I've tried to look into movies to watch because I'm bored because I'm out of movies. Okay? So I've watched a lot of movies. And I can watch a film and and not know anything about it going into it yet still appreciate how it would generally be critically received, and I've pretty much found that to be true. Now, is that because I, you know, it's just a coincidence that I and also a number, like the the majority of, of film critics have also agreed that uh, on certain points? It could be, but the likelihood is pretty low that in, in, in more, it's more likely that there is something that makes a movie objectively better than some uh, like th than a bad movie. I would just argue that arguing... you picked up on patterns. That's all. Yeah, I was just gonna say that you're arguing a likelihood, and we're discussing objectivity as 100% confidence. And I think it's still pretty impossible to say, despite the fact that it may have like a 99% rating on Rotten Tomatoes or something like that. Even a 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, that's still just a sample size. You're not providing us with scientific objectivity about a certain subject. And that's why I made the differentiation between scientific and philosophical objectivity. Well, yeah, but I mean, then the, 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 you have a very the, you have a very strict view on what objectivity has to be. You're saying that objectivity can only be two plus two equals four, whereas yeah. I'm saying objectivity you're, is more like you're arguing definitions. Is, is, then, right? Yeah, we well, changed yeah, the entire I, argument at this point. No, I'm I'm well, yeah, n not really. Again, like I said, like I, like I said a little while ago, I think we just fundamentally disagree on the nature of objectivity because I think. Yes, there is going to be an inherent hypocrisy, especially when judging a work of art, in that objectivity is going to be tempered with subjectivity as well. Like, that's going to be the case when you're looking at a piece of art. But I still think that there is something that well, you can't be objective. But you know how I mentioned names, right? Like, you create a constructed realm, a constructed sample set of the thing that you want to judge and what those criteria are. If your judgment is what is the most naturalistic work of art, and you have a set where there's like some kind of deconstructed like here's a white canvas and then you have the Mona Lisa obviously one is going to be objectively more naturalistic but that's only there, because you set that sample set okay, you can't I can, make I those can, judgments with take this I could take this into actual science there was there was this study that just came out uh, from Yale or MIT or something I don't know I read about it recently um, but it was a psychological study um, that that came out uh, looking at the uh, the neurocenters of the brain and how they reacted to film, right, and specific film, and uh, when 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 a bunch of different people were treated to the same film, the same centers actually were hit uh, across different things. So that is basically an artist saying hey this is how you should feel and i want you to feel that way and then there's scientific data backing it up saying okay they felt a specific way whether that was the artist achieving specifically what he wanted to or whether or not he he made just everyone feel a specific way that is an artist achieving his goal of making people conveying a message which is what art really is it's conveying some sort of a message Right, so that's 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 generally the um... Nick is thwomping on you, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Know. <laughs> I haven't been. I haven't read my. We haven't but, cared uh... about the game for about fifteen <laughs> yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. But so so there, like, there's a um, there's actually this really old test, uh, and it's not really a test, and and, and this one isn't even really scientific. Um, you couldn't you can really consider this totally scientific, but. Essentially, it was the uh, director of Battleship Potemkin, and he wanted to show that through editing, you can make anybody feel anything you wanted, right? So the, the way that he 
he used uh, it. Um, by the way, it's called montage. That's actually what montage in French is, uh, or not? Yeah, no, I think it's French. Uh, is is just edit editing. Uh, it's not a specific thing like we know it today as like a montage is like you know 80s music and guys working out um but anyway so so the, the the test that he used was he wanted to he he put a film in front of a bunch of different people and he asked them what they thought the character was thinking so he used this static uh film of this guy just has his blank stare with his mouth kind of open right mm. and at the begin at the uh, to one group of people he showed uh, a bowl of soup and then it cut to the man, and then it cut to the bowl of soup. People said he looked like he was very hungry. Mm -hmm. You know, they he, he, and he cuts in, uh, you know, something else, something else, all this different stuff, and he made people feel different ways, right? And they they somehow naturally agreed upon what, you know, he was trying to say, essentially. And it didn't matter what the guy actually looked like. It doesn't it didn't matter what his, what his actual expression on his face was. Um, that didn't actually matter. That was just through editing. And that's sort of part of the art of film. And that's sort of part of the art of like making people communicating a message in a very specific way. And if you can effectively do that, then you are making objectively good art in that sense. Would you say there's a difference between certainty and objectivity? What do you mean? Like, would you say, like the, the, I mean, literal definitions are kind of what we're getting to at this point in the discussion and i'm wondering whether you're interpreting a an artist's ability to convey an exact emotion in a very particular manner as certainty or objectivity and they, they could be the same thing i'm just wondering what you think about it mm. um oh god wow what you mean by certainty yeah, the, the Hell whole kind example overboard. that you were giving about the bowl and everything kind of seems I, I there's some fallacy for it, but i'm not sure i know which one it is it just well, seems like, like you're kind of misdirect that one, that one, like I said, is not is not a scientific experiment. It was just something that some well, guy did a long time ago in the 1920s. But sure, but I think the, your the, argument was that you could convince people 100 percent of the time that seeing a certain thing will elicit a certain response, right? That's why you're saying not it's objective. Not 100 percent of the time, but yes, yeah. The, but if it, it's not 100 percent of the time, it's not objectivity. See, that's what I'm saying. Like you guys have this very absolutist idea of what objectivity is, and then so we are literally I'm arguing just of the a definition. Of like, objectivity is absolute. Like that. That's as far down anything like, aside from it, it is subjective right <laughs> that's like that's i i fail to be no. like i i get what that's... you're saying but i still fail to comprehend the possibility that you can tell me there's any wiggle room into that there, there's actual no way to be of the term. uh somewhat objective no zero percent all right well then again like i said i think we just fundamentally disagree on on what that means Clearly. I would go further and say that I don't understand what the meaning of that word is if it's not the meaning that we're assigning to it. Yeah. Because the thing is, you, the, if, okay, so then if every review or every uh, feeling a person has about, uh, or uh, or reasoning a person has to decide whether or not something, some piece of art is good or bad is all just subjective, then you shouldn't listen to any of it, right? Because it's all just some dude's Slippery opinion. Slippery slope. Yeah, well, no, that's that's what that's not I'm, not. I'm not using a slippery slope fallacy. That's essentially what you're saying. You're saying there is no objectivity in what they're what? saying. The fact that they have similar reviews on other places is just coincidental, is what you're saying. No, we all share a lot of common experiences, and we all follow certain patterns and routines, which is why we can often share so much in terms of you know our assertions on things. Doesn't mean it's objectively the same for everybody. We could take minutely different nuances on a concept. Mm hmm. So, but, so then, like, there's no way that you, I can prove that Superman 64 is objectively bad. It's a, it's not a bad game. I can't prove that. It's impossible, actually. I, I think that's true, yeah. But I, I'm not, I'm not of the opinion that it's worthless to, like, compile a different, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Well, just a different mindset. Like th the entire purpose of reviews, as, as I'm sure a lot of people have thought of before, is the fact that we don't have the perspective of this other person. So we're gathering these different perspectives right. in order to better understand uh, how things look from other people's view. Mm -hmm. And objectivity is completely separated from that because, as we've said, it's it's a it's more of a scientific. Term that it is 
something that can be associated with one person's stance on a or like one person's opinion on a piece of art or something of cultural significance it's okay it's not like uh i i, I, I want to say because again we're arguing definitions here mm. um I'm objectivity not. doesn't mean like clear cut yes or no true or false okay so the the synonyms for our objectivity are impartiality lack of bias lack of prejudice fairness fair-mindedness neutrality even-handedness so it doesn't actually necessarily mean I, we're that arguing it's... the colloquial definition that it's come to mean now not what the dictionary necessarily says okay then yeah the way okay. that it relates to and the we're fields that like we're said, describing we're arguing is on, what on we're a different arguing. thing we fundamentally disagree on what we're arguing upon I'm arguing about it on the, on the basis of what objectivity. It, it has is. no meaning in the realm that you're discussing it in. You're arguing subjectivity no, as objectivity. No, it, impartiality or a lack of bias is what ah. is what defines objectivity. That's 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 the i the idea. It's not just like two plus two equals four. It's not. It's not. Yes, there's. Okay, I will. I will admit to. Okay, if, if, this is why I say that I think we're fundamentally disagreeing. Is because I will. I will openly admit that yes, there is no way that you can say, hey, uh, number one is what makes a movie good, and if it doesn't do this, then it's not a good movie. You know, like there's no way that you can say that. Right. I, I. I will admit that. Yeah, for sure. But. I don't think that has to do with the differences between objectivity and subjectivity. I won. Like I, uh, yeah, congrats. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't even know what was happening in the last part of the game, but um, yeah, it just kind of winded down. I'm not but actually yeah. sure I understand what objectivity even has to do with the realm of critique. I'm just glad objectivity doesn't have the letter K in it. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. could. Really breaking our balls here. Should get rid of it. Look at this yeah. guy trying to wrap up the discussion like a pro. Hey, man, you <laughs> know why you guy. bring me into these episodes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, you know, it's um, it's a so philosophical Rob idea. is objectively wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, I think we fundamentally disagree on what we're talking about, and that's the thing. Like, yeah, for sure, I will say yes, There, there is no, like, mathematical formula that proves movie A is better than movie B. For sure. I'm sure someone will try to make one, and it'll oh, yeah. be funny. Hey, it's going <laughs> to be yeah. in the comments, and then it'll be like all over Ars Technica tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, I'd be, I'd be interested in that. But, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't have to do with objectivity in my mind. I don't think Ars Technica would cover it now that I think about it. I don't know what Ars Technica is. I've uh, heard of it, but I don't tech know Tech Crunch that... might. Uh, Maybe. BuzzFeed would be all over. Buzzfeed, there we go. Yeah. Oh, BuzzFeed will show up BuzzFeed on BuzzFeed. is all over anything, though, so. Yeah, BuzzFeed's all over my nuts. Boom! I was going to say that exact thing. I really <laughs> hope that BuzzFeed editors don't watch this, although, really, <laughs> BuzzFeed editors, come on. Aren't we all BuzzFeed editors? <laughs> yeah, yeah we participate yeah. in existence. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Objectively. Man, that's, that's deep. Object Dude, that's Which... a great way to end the episode right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. thanks for yeah, watching Magic. Lack of closure. That's good. I'm gonna <laughs> sleep now. <laughs> <laughs> thanks everybody. Keep... New episodes Mondays and Fridays. Wrap up discussing the like parallels <laughs> of objectivity and subjectivity for another hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, uh, yeah. Bye everybody. Later.